What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I did not get around to doing my uh, Nintendo Switch video yesterday, as the electrician was here finishing up some stuff, and there was no electricity, so kind of makes it hard to do a video. So let me tell you guys what's going on in gaming news right now. Okay, the Nintendo Switch reaction has been none too pleasant. A lot of people don't like the Nintendo Switch. And I have mixed feelings on it. I did manage to go out yesterday and pre-order mine. I got like the one with the red and the blue controller, which apparently is pretty rare. So if you're planning on getting one, you might want to try and get one right now. Okay, the whole entire Nintendo Switch thing is causing a lot of drama. More specs have come down uh, for the Nintendo Switch. But right now, people are complaining about the price, saying that $299 is way too expensive for the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Let me give you guys some background before I go ahead and tell you my personal opinion on the Nintendo Switch price. One, more specs have come down. So it looks like the Nintendo Switch does have a 720p screen and 32 gigabytes of storage. Yeah, so uh, shortly after the whole entire press conference, they did come out there and they gave a, gave a little bit more specs about the whole entire Nintendo Switch. It looks like that screen is going to be a 6.2 inch 720p screen uh, with 1280 by 720 whenever it's uh, in, in a docking state, whenever it's in handheld mode, and then whenever it's actually put in a docking station, it is capable of outputting 1080p through Hadimi connection to your TV. Okay, let's talk about that real quick. I have to wonder, because this is a next generation console. Next generation console. You see everyone else, you know, like the PlayStation 4 Pro doing 4K and Scorpio coming out. It's going to be 4K and, you know, Xbox One S being able to do 4K upscaling. And, you know, you see this whole entire thing happening right here. And then you bust out Nintendo Switch and they just go right in the middle with 720 and 1080 when in docking mode. How is that possible? What were they thinking when they sat down and they said, you know what, let's make this thing 720p. No one's going to have a problem with it. Cell phones. Get this. Cell phones output in 4K, 1080p. How is it that this brand new device has horrible battery life compared to a cell phone, which processes tons of apps and games and things and calendars and stuff? How is it possible? How? That you get the battery life of two and a half to six hours in a brand new device not only that the storage comes with 32 gigabytes of storage on board which means it does uh suck has horrible storage space cell phones again beat that by a mile but they do give you the ability to up expand the whole entire sd card slot uh, up to two terabytes i ain't seen too many two terabyte uh micro sd cards rolling around but yay and it does look like the screen is going to be 6.2 inches. The exact same amount as the Wii U. I wonder if they took the screens from the Wii U tablet and put them in the Nintendo Switch. They must have a stockpile since they didn't sell that many Wii U's. But they wouldn't do that. Right? So in all is... $299 too expensive for the Nintendo Switch. I will have to vote yes. That's why I made my first video saying, why would you do this? It is too expensive for the Nintendo Switch. Why? Because you can get an Xbox One S, which has, what, 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 what? 500 gigabytes of storage? What, what, no, one terabyte? 4K upscaling? Oh, Blu-ray drives? Hmm? 4K Blu-ray drives, anybody? It comes with everything you need for $250, but this thing is brand new, and it has none of them. It is too expensive. Again, I did pre-order mine. If you plan on getting one, I'm not going to judge you. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the games lineup. It looks like they got, what, uh, two games coming out. One, two, Switch. I'm not going to comment on the dude in the shorts. I'm not going to comment on those shorts. Why are you wearing those shorts? In fact, I'm going to comment on those shorts. Why are you wearing those, sor those, those shorts as a grown man? Why are you wearing them? Why are they so tight? It's not fair. Please stop. Stop. Forever. Don't have that picture on that 1-2 Switch game. It's not that great. It's all motion control. People are loving the motion controls. 
please Nintendo stop with the motion controls. You can have some rumble features, but stop with the motion. It's over. It's dead. Let it go. And with that, they got Zelda. Yeah. And that's it. A launch lineup of two games. Most consoles don't do that. Sony and Microsoft, they usually bust out three, four, maybe five. But no, Nintendo Switch, they, they busted out two. But there is good news because you can just wait to the summer and then you'll get Splatoon 2. And then you have to wait to the winter and then you get Mario. I'm seeing the same drought we saw with the Wii U. So, uh, yes, I have gripes and complaints about the Nintendo Switch. It's functional. They got a lot of cool things inside of it. But it's like somewhere along the way they just determined they're going to get lazy and not go the full mile. All people asked you for Nintendo was a console. A powerful console. It's like you don't understand that. A console, a, a, a box, a, a, a box. That's what people want. That's what we grew up sitting on the floor. That's what we want. Give it back to us. We don't want gimmicks. We don't want motion controls. That whatever game they got, they got. I keep forgetting the name of it. The, 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 the really cool punching one. That one's pretty cool. But nobody wants to punch because accidents happen when you mess around with motion controls. It's tragic. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's how I feel about the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people are upset about it. Nintendo stock did drop like 6.2% because people were none impressed with the Nintendo Switch. Their stock dropped as soon as they released it. They should have went up. Nintendo, just make a console. How hard is it? If this thing fails, Nintendo is going to hurt. If you want Nintendo to stick around, you might have to support them on this one. Not that they're broke. They're not broke. But at the same time... They can't continue going on like this. They maybe got one more console left in them. I don't. I think this thing may not be the best selling console since ever, but they might surprise us. They might. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holla at y'all later.